The Millennium Development Authority wants the public to purchase only energy-efficient appliances. The authority says this will save huge sums of money spent on energy. MIDA is embarking on replacement of high-consuming electricity appliances in six state institutions at a cost of $3 million under the Ghana Power Compact Program. Here is George Quenny's report. High energy consumption is a challenge in efforts at reducing huge sums of money spent on energy. In order to ensure efficient use of energy, the Millennium Development Authority is replacing obsolete and high-consuming electrical appliances at six institutions. They are the Kolibutishin Hospital, Adabraka Polyclinic, Department of Urban Roads, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, and the University of Ghana. According to the Millennium Development Authority, one of the objectives of the Ghana Power Compact Program is to promote energy efficiency in Ghana, and one of the ways of doing this is by retrofitting and replacing high-consuming electricity appliances at public institutions with energy-efficient ones. Now, under the EDSM, we have a lot of projects, and then one of the projects is the race to retrofit. That's um, we are trying to we are replacing inefficient appliances with energy efficient appliances and lighting. We solicited for data from ECG on high consuming institutions in Accra East and Accra West. So they gave us the list and then we wrote to the high consuming institutions, about 20 of them. Only six responded. Kolibu was one of them. The Millennium Development Authority wants individuals to replicate this in their homes and businesses. I want to use these institutions as base models. Base models in the sense that once uh, the government or whoever sees that these institutions have been able to save so much by just changing these appliances and becoming more efficient, then we can replicate it in other both government institutions and even into our homes. The main idea is to get to the demand side, get to the consumer side of electricity consumption. Meanwhile, the Ghana Education Service is expected to benefit from the project, bringing the total number of public institutions to seven.